Today I'm gonna to be going over 10 of the most trending sneakers right now. I know a lot of people have been talking about it and they've been asking me so many questions. So we're gonna be going over shoes that are 100 bucks and shoes that are even $40,000. And make sure you guys stick around to the end of the video because I'm picking up some heat today. So first up right here on the list, we got the Travis Scott Air Jordan 1 Low. This is the olive colorway. Now this was actually a women's release, but they did do extended sizing. And trust me when I tell you when it comes to the prices on the extended sizes, they are way too expensive. But at the end of the day, you can still find these for around 450 to 800, maybe even $1,200 on the bigger sizes. But for a lot of people with a smaller or women, especially they can get the shoe for a very solid price when it comes to Travis Scott releases. This is definitely a very pretty, well, I, I would say you'd say neutral shoe. I'd say this is a pretty solid neutral shoe right here. You got a lot of good colors on here. Black and white can't go wrong with that. And then you got the sail on the midsole. You got the olive right here on the back end. Got the earth tones, classic for the Travis Scott. The red hit on the back end and then on the tongue. And then the black sock liner, you can't go wrong with that. Olive on the bottom of the shoe as well. I think this is a great shoe. This is the fifth release of the low top Air Jordan ones when it comes to Travis Scott. And there's a couple high tops as well. They say this is the last one. So maybe it's a good investment. They might go up in price later in time. Who knows, we shall see. But again, we'll talk about that later in another review. At the end of the day, this is a great shoe. It's trending right now. It's hot, everybody loves it. Summertime, I guarantee you're gonna see a lot of people rocking these. And I can't wait to see you guys pulling off your fits in these as well this summer. So let me know what you guys think about these down below in the comment section. Let's take it to the next shoe. All right, this one right here is the sneaker that everybody loves to hate. And honestly, I don't like them that much either, but it is what it is. You have the Panda Dunk right here. What's the price on these things again? 180 bucks is for the shoe. At one point they were going for like what, 350 bucks or something like that? Some crazy prices. So the price is starting to slowly get down, but at the end of the day, retail's like 100 bucks or 110, something like that, I don't know. But it's still going for a little close to around that double retail value. But this is a shoe that you literally see everybody rocking celebrities your everyday person you name it this is just a very universal shoe similar to the all-white air force one you can't go wrong with it it's still a trending sneaker after a couple years it continues to restock people love it all the different situations you name it this I, I had to put them on the list it only makes sense i feel like i'd be foolish if i didn't put these on the list so let me know what you guys think about these i know there's probably a lot of people that love to wear these and don't get me wrong rock what you like that's the most important thing at the end of the day me personally i'm not rocking with them my wife Loki wanted to wear them, but I told her no. I'm just playing. <laughs> okay, let's take it to the next shoe. I never wanted those shoes. Just so everybody knows, he be trying to play me like I don't know my shoes. <laughs> but I never wanted those shoes, okay? Right. All right, next up right here, we have the Air Jordan 4 SB. This is the first time we've seen a collaboration, not with Jordan brand but for the Jordan 4. Now people are assuming that there's gonna be other colorways and then we heard that it's got canceled, all these different things. This is another sneaker right here that some people are putting at their, whether it's number one or three or five or whatever, I can say that a lot of people are putting this in their top 10 sneaker of the year on that list. Some people saying it's their grail and they gotta have it. And we know Jordan 4s are trending, which you guys will see a couple more in this video later. But I had to put this one in here simply because I know for a fact right now in current time, these things are hitting. What's the price on these again? I gotta do my check. I gotta do my price check. I keep forgetting. What's like? 400. 400. Oh, that's solid. 400. Now it's probably a little bit more for a size 13 though. But either way, this is another great shoe. You got the gum bottom on the outsole, you know, for traction when you're skating because only skateboarders can wear these and nobody else. At least that's another trend that everybody says, right? We got gatekeeping in all types of categories of sneakers. It's always fun to hear the trends. Let me know what you guys think about that down below in the comment section as well. We made some TikToks about that the other day and uh, got a little spicy in the comment section. So overall, great shoe. You guys saw me do a review on these. If you have these in your collection, let me know how you feel about them. If you don't have these in your collection and you wanna get them, let me know how you feel. And if you don't like them at all, let us know. But tell us why. Don't just say, oh, the shoe is trash. Like. Tell us why you don't like it. I love to hear people elaborate about it compared to just be like, those are weak, those are trash. That's always, you know what I'm saying? Like, give us some context. Let's talk about it. Let's have a little dialogue. Ooh, this next one's gonna be good. Let me show you guys real quick. The all-white Air Force One. This shoe right here, 
you can never go wrong with. I know we could have picked so many different colorways because on that wall over there, there are a lot of great options. But at the end of the day, this shoe will always be trending. At least I, that's what I've seen. It's been like 40 years now, 30 years now. It's been a long time since we've seen the Air Force One with the anniversary just coming out this past year as well. This in particular, at one point, was selling for like almost double. And you could typically go to like Foot Locker or something like that to grab the shoe. But luckily here at Untied, they got them for a good price as well. So again, if you guys wanna check out their website, hit the link down below in the description. But when it comes to trending shoes, especially in the winter time, or so, I was thinking about the all blacks in the winter time. <laughs> I was gonna make that joke. All right. <laughs> in the summertime, you can wear, <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say in the summertime you can wear these and then in the wintertime you can wear the all blacks no. but then you know <laughs> that gets a little spicy as well so <laughs> let's take it to the next shoe. I wanted to know what are some of the most trending sneakers right now? Uh, to me would be the Travis Olives. Okay, the, what you got on your feet yeah, right now? Yeah, I got them right now. Okay. And the Travis Reverse Mochas okay. and the Fragments. Fragment? Fragment the Lowe's, frag, yeah. Okay, yeah. what about like other models or uh, uh, brands? To me, it's just like Nike off whites. Okay. Honestly. I'm more of a Travis fan, to okay. be honest. I have like every Travis. Hey. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, yeah. I like that. I like that. So, okay. If it wasn't Travis, though, would it be like, because you know, like, we got Panda Dunks, we got like Panda Jackie Dunks. Robinsons. It's a bit too general for me, you know? Okay. Can rock that every day. Normally, just. I, I like to rock like off white, like Air Forces, Dunks. Okay. That's okay. what I like, you know, dailies, okay. yeah. He's coming with that heat. Yeah. I like to see it. Yeah. All right, bro. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. All right, right here, we got the Jackie Robinson Nike Dunk Lows. These came out last year, and they have been trending ever since. And for some reason, the price just keeps going up, and it's a great shoe. I need these in size 13 as well. This is actually one that I don't have that I still need to add. So if anybody out there trying to hook me up with a size 13, let me know. Hit me up on IG. Follow me over there. When you shoot me a DM, let's make a trade or something. But this is a great shoe. Let's check out some of the details. You got that blue felt all throughout the upper. You got that tan on there with the Nike swoosh right there on the toe, the blue with the black check on there. And then you got that same material from the baseball cap right there around the swoosh on the mid panel of the foot. And then on the back end, you got the 42 right there with the shiny silver oh 75 years with the diamond on the front on the tongue this is a great shoe and one thing that i love about sneakers like this it has a black bottom when you got a black bottom on a shoe this is just another incentive to wear the sneaker because you don't have to worry about you know the dirt just getting all over there and it's like super hard to clean or if it's like translucent it's gonna yellow or you know what i'm saying all the different situations i think it kind of would have been dope though if they would have did a gum bottom you know kind of matching like the dirt from the baseball field that kind of would have been fire too, and we all love gum bottoms. But anyways, this is still an amazing sneaker. Let me know what you guys think about these. A heavily trending shoe right now. And I think, honestly, I don't see this shoe like losing its hype or its demand. I think over the years, it's gonna be harder to find a fresh brand new pair. And it's just gonna be a great investment and a great shoe to wear and all the different things. And this is gonna be one of those like goaded sneakers. I think, you know, five, 10, 20 years down the line, a lot of people are gonna enjoy having these. So if you got these, take care of them because this is definitely a really dope shoe. Now, the next one, ooh, that one's a classic. Let's go get that one. I told you we had a classic and I wasn't lying. We got the Reimagine Air Jordan 3 white cements right here. You got the Nike Air on the back end. If you guys haven't seen the full review, I'll make sure I link that for you guys down below in the description. This is a very amazing sneaker right here. And oh my gosh, from 88 to now, there have been so many memories with the different retros, the different versions, the styles, cuts, materials, all the different iterations that we've seen over the years. But this one in particular is very close to the OG from back in the day. And because of that, a lot of people are loving these. And honestly, like I said earlier, the uh, Jordan 4 SB, that was one of the top shoes. This one right here, I've seen a lot of people say, these are actually better than those. And a lot of people are saying, this is the number one sneaker of the year as of right now. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. But for me, my top 10 list, I can definitely say these are in my top three for sure. And then I'll do the ranking at the end of the year because we got a lot of dope releases that to come out still. 350 on these right here, honestly really solid. And that was another thing too. These, they're gonna continue to rise. It's a classic, it's an OG, you can never go wrong. Breads, white cements, fire reds, different colors like that on different models on the classics. You can never fail on that sneaker. Always a good investment, always a great rocker, classic timepiece. And it's just a dope addition to the collection if you really love OG retros and stuff that Jordan actually wore on the basketball court. And again, like I said, 
buy what you like. Don't buy it for the hype or just because I say it's a good investment and all the other stuff. And if you don't care about all that stuff, at the end of the day, buy what you like. But if you wanna make a couple bucks, <laughs> this might be a good shoe to buy too. Speaking of great shoes, this is another good option for you, not only for the investment side, but actually everyday rotation. Like I said, we was gonna have shoes from $100 to $40,000, which don't worry, we're still gonna show you guys some bangers at the end. But this one's about 180 bucks and you cannot go wrong with these. Everybody loves the neutral gray Air Jordan 1 lows, all white Air Force 1s, Dunks, you name it. It's kind of that perfect mixture and blend between all the different shoes to get you this one right here. So if you guys like Dunks, Forces, 1s, any of those type of things, this is gonna be a great option. It's gonna go with a lot of shoes, great for the summertime. And I think you guys would love to have these in your collection as well. So let's take it to the last couple shoes because we got some bangers to get through. Next up right here, we have the Air Air Jordan 4 military black. Now I know everybody wanted to see the blue version with the Nike Air on the back, but this is what we got. It gave us that OG cut and that vibe right there with the nice materials. And it's a black and white shoe. You can mix these with anything. Now I know we would have probably preferred to see the Nike Air on the back, but again, still we can't go wrong with it. And after we saw what different trends on TikTok and Instagram and YouTube and all the creators wearing the shoe, next thing you know, the prices just kept going up. And because of that, now this is kind of getting to be a little bit of a spendy sneaker. But at the end of the day, still very trendy. A lot of people love this. Don't be surprised if you see your best friend's cousin rocking these at the next summertime event. And you're probably going to want to add these to your collection as well. Make sure you guys use the discount code DNA show and that'll get you guys free shipping on all your orders from Untied. The links will be down below in the description. We got two shoes left, low key, three, because it's a bonus. But either way, this is going to be some good stuff. Since we're on the topic of the Air Jordan 4s, we had to mention these. Now, originally I was going to do the Thunders because this is the OG, you know what I'm saying? But then I was like, the Red Thunders. A lot of the newer, younger kids and the younger sneakerheads, people just getting into the game, they like this one more. And this is a huge battle, which I would love to hear what you guys think about these down below in the comment section. But either way, two trending shoes for the newer era and the older era. This one's a lot more affordable, but again, two great shoes for the summertime. A black shoe, you can't go wrong with that as well. And honestly, you can wear these anytime throughout the entire year. But I know in current market right now a lot of people are asking about these and a lot of people are raving how you can get these for just around retail or a little bit over that retail price especially if you can find some steals and deals on some used pairs get them underneath retail but these are two great options i had to mention these now let's get into the forty thousand dollar shoes okay so these are the most trending sneakers right now in the game when it comes to expensive shoes wouldn't you say Dude, this is absolutely insane i think the only way that somebody's actually getting their hands on these is like the people that are customizing and making their own shoes i've seen a lot of people use the freddy right and put like a star on it or yeah. whatever you know what i mean because this is just an iconic shoe that everybody wants to rock it's just insane and i feel like most of the people haven't even seen the movies right but it's just so much hype behind this shoe right here so when you go to like tiktok or anything especially on social media what does right. everybody say right. do you have the air max do you have the freddies that's yep. one of the hottest sbs that everybody's yep. been asking about absolutely insane and i think that like the jordan 4 no doubt is probably I the think, model yes the biggest air jordan model i would yep. say even over the ones for the it yep. is for the for the trends like for tiktok and stuff for the kids um i mean this was my first shoe but like this shoe right here, the purples, I think Nike needs to release a non-Travi. I think it'd go crazy. Uh, I don't know. I like the fact that they separate the elements between the PEs and the samples and then the GR. It doesn't have to be exactly the same, uh, but do you remember like the Toro Bravos where it was red all around? Oh, yeah. Like, it was purple, like a brighter purple. Yeah. Like the Supra Justin Bieber purple <laughs> on the shoes. That'd be fire. Yeah, this uh, is definitely these, a crazy shoe. So out of the Jordan 4s, wouldn't you say... Uh, you know, undefeated and encores, but like modern not, not, era not time, for, yeah, not for modern this era. is the People don't know about the, the undefeated goat. nowadays. Right. You know, they know about the Travi friends and families. And everybody's asking for those. Everybody wants these for Christmas. Untied has them here as well. So these are $40,000 and these are $45,000. We're looking at almost $100,000 in front of us right now. Right now. Absolutely. Insane. And he's buying both today. I'm buying both today. <laughs> <laughs> They're hooking it up for free. No, nah, but yeah, so out of these two, like I love Jordans, but I don't know. I feel like the Freddie journey and story has been bigger for me over time. Right. To make me want to have this shoe more than I would want to have this shoe. So I, think I would go after these in particular if I were to buy one of the two. What I would, would you have buy? to argue. I would have to go with these only because when these released, I don't. I wasn't around. I don't think for like the story okay. for okay. them. Okay. 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 You know what I mean? I wasn't born when you were collecting this. Shut up. <laughs> No, 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 but I've seen these come out. I've seen, like, I have the blue ones, and I think I, I'm more a part of the journey of these yeah. um, than of these, and especially, I think, if I'm spending 40, 
I'm gonna want something that everybody knows about. I got know, you. Which would be these. Everybody compliment. Only Makes the OGs sense. and you would get grown men right. would compliment those. Makes sense. You know? Makes sense. <laughs> well, if anything, if you guys like this video, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Like I said, Untied right here. They have all these available. Hit the link down below, DNA Show. And uh, shout out to Timmy, right? Let's here. go, baby. Let's go. Boy. Yeah. All right, if you guys wanna see any more top 10 videos, I'll see you guys in another one. I would never let you down. Yo, before you go, I just launched my Sneakerhead Academy where we got everything on the inside. I teach you all the stuff that I learned over the past 15 years when it comes to sneakers, scaling, real estate, you name it. We talk about all of it in there. And there's an eight week program plus a bunch of monthly giveaways. I give away shoes literally way too much, honestly. But either way, I'll see you guys on the inside. Hit the link down below in my description or pinned in the comment section for DJ Sneakerhead Academy. And I'll see you guys over there. If you made it to the end of this video and you're wondering what shoes I picked up. I got the Howard University Air Jordan 1 Lows. Shout out to Untied for coming through for your boy. They found a pair of my size. Ooh, I cannot wait to review these for you. To make what I'm aware it's today. One of those. I would never let you down. It's in my DNA. The only choice I like to make what I'm aware today. I was made for it. It's in the DNA.